Hello, hoping to help answer a question that came up inside of Facebook's group, uh, QB Power Hour. Um, I wanted to show how we have been doing, uh, how we've been basically transferring reports between different clients uh, at Parkway Business Solutions. So real quick, I'm gonna share my screen here. And the question was asked by Natalie Morris Spears. She was trying to find out how to transfer customer reports from one company file to another company file. Uh, this is a super, super, super important flaw I personally feel within QuickBooks Online that I really hope that they find a way to uh, put some attention towards because we don't want to have to keep recreating these reports every single time we bring on a new client. Um, but currently, the way we go about it is we've saved our specific unique reports as bookmarks using Google Chrome then what we'll do is when we open up a new company or we bring somebody on, we'll actually go to that company and then we go to the folder and we actually open all of them from the folder. So I'm going to show you that right now. Um, so we'll come in here real quick and I'm in a random company file, but just to kind of validate, let's do this. We're going to go boom. We're going to go switch companies. Come all the way out of this one. And when this loads back up, I'm going to choose where I want to be in at and the company file. And then once I'm in the company file, I'm looking to uh, move the reports into. That's when I can open up the different URLs. So this is a fake company file, fake data, so no concerns. But now that I'm in at least this screen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and I've got a folder down at the bottom here that gives me a couple different reports I was trying to create. I'm going to right click and by right clicking it's going to give me the ability to open all three in new window. Let's do that. So what will happen is by doing that you're now going to see we have three different reports ran that were auto-populated based off the information from this company. Um, you're going to notice, of course, the names of the companies I also manipulated. And the reason I did that was to also show you kind of how this works. So the key to all of this, I'm going to go Control C to copy the URL that's at the top. And because I want to be able to see it nicely, we'll pull up a quick Word doc do something new, and we'll paste it in so I can kind of explain what the different parts of the report are. You can actually copy the URL once you've customized it exactly the way you want, but if you need to do something just a little bit different, you can always come in and manipulate it yourself. So let's go blank document and we'll go boom. As you start to look at this, some of it's going to start to make more sense. Um, you're going to notice that right here, check out our Facebook group QB Community Live, that percent 20 is just a space. That's, if you consider that as a swap out, you're good to go. But the, the more important parts are going to be certain areas like the dates that you can manipulate as well. So if you, let's see here, if we've got our, um, this specific one is using all dates. So it doesn't work exactly the same way, but let's do this. If I come back here and let's go last year. Okay. Now at the very top here, we'll go control copy again, same exact document, just back and forth. Now you're going to see that you've got the last year macro, it's a date macro, but it's still showing you the dates. So uh, 1-1-2018 to 1231 2018 Let's have fun. Let's take this to 16. Oops, it's a little bit too far. And we'll go 10. So we've manipulated the date that's actually going to show. And why not? Let's do this here. Hello. Take all this, control, copy, go back, we'll go to a brand new window, paste it in, enter.
And the bottom, we've got our hello here. The dating is custom, but be, the date here did not seem to catch exactly. Uh, let's real quickly try to change this. I may have made a mistake on it. There we go. So now we did full custom and you can manipulate this stuff. So the reason I'm showing you that is it, you can really start to tailor some of these reports. And if you need to tweak something, maybe you did it for it last year, but you didn't think of how the impact would be the next following year, you can play with the structure of that to do whatever's necessary. I will recommend it's super important to pay attention to any of the filtering that you do um, because it is possible to filter by different accounts. But if you copy that URL and you just paste into a new company file, if you're not using a universal chart of accounts, you may, you're probably still going to have to go in and make some minor changes to the details. Um, additionally, you'll always want to double check that the report name here, uh, that that is exactly what you're looking for as well because again, it's been coded in. So I hope this instruction of how you can go through, you can save the, the URL where you've got all the detail just like this in here, put it into a folder. When you're ready to reuse it for a new company file, get logged into that company file, then right click, open all in a new window, and you should be good to go. On that note, here's wishing everybody a very successful week.